The key to winning a championship meet here is to have three strong relays. If you're gonna win the title, you gotta bring in three relays somehow. And it, because they scored double the points, a few years back there was a team from Anderson High School that brought in four individual, just four guys, and almost won the meet. They came up just, they came up just one relay short, but almost in challenging Carmel back in the day when Carmel had a great, had that boys team that was so, so strong back in those days that Ray Lawrence was coaching them that they came in and, and those four boys, the quality of those four boys almost pulled out the win. And again, if you're just joining us on IHSAAsports.org, don't worry about it. Everything is always archived on IHSAAsports.org. Peters on the starting block to show team unity. Traditions that the girls have, the tradition of, of relays, momentum, team unity. I mean, this is really what makes the difference in, in, a, in a successful relay. You'd never count out Chesterton. They seem to have great momentum, and they are taking it out strong with Carmel at this point. This is the 200-yard freestyle relay. First swimmer for Carmel. That's Megan Detro touches at a 24.03. Chesterton still kind of hanging in there. Look at Homestead. Homestead, the hot team in the meet right now. It's kind of taken taken over the lead at the 75, but their, team, their teammate came off the wall and took a huge breath, which any momentum that she had, she kind of lost off that wall right now. Chesterton still strong. The third person in the water for Chesterton is Mallory Przbinski, and Carmel's third swimmer is Trish Reagan. You can tell by those high elbows. Carmel starting to inch away. Great turn again by Chesterton, still hanging in there. Hamilton Southeastern on the hip. So is Homestead. Watch the explosive start here. Carmel took a huge lead. That half body length lead turned into a full body length lead off the start itself. Carmel inching away. Chesterton not giving up. Southeastern battling Chesterton for second place. Carmel's gonna try to challenge the record here. The record's 134. 135-29, just missing the record. Wow, Homestead pulls out a 136-37 for second place. And look at the, the, Homestead, the Homestead crowd jumping up and down right now. Chesterton ended up third, Hamilton Southeastern fourth. Made a big difference right there, a big sure. difference. I mean, that would, you took a look at the time difference, 136 from second place, 136-37, 136-39, and then fourth place was 136.49. That's a fingernail difference between three teams. Seventh place, Mount Vernon. 139.03. Sixth place medals are awarded to Zionsville High School. 139 flat. Let's award those fifth place medals to Indianapolis North Central High School, 137-64. The fourth place medals go to Hamilton Southeastern High School. They swam this afternoon in one minute, 36 and 49 hundredths seconds.
Third place, Chesterton High School, 136, 39. The runner-up medals will be awarded to Homestead High School. 136, 37. Join me, please, in congratulating the 2008 Indiana High School Girls 200-Yard Freestyle Relay Champion from Carmel High School, who swam this afternoon in 1 minute, 35 and 2,800 seconds. Congratulations to Megan Vitro, Devon Mason, Trish Regan, and Emily DiMenigno. So one of the many ways in which uh, a coach earns his keep, I would think, Tony, would uh, be having the ability, as you mentioned, uh, the teamwork and the unity that exists within a relay team is, uh, boy, assessing what you have roster-wise and, and, and hitting on that right combination.